Here for the final round, current record is not great. I'm not gonna lie, it's not great. Uh, this hand is also not great. Stupid evolving wilds. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like if we had like more lands to go with our Molten Reigns, or if we had like some stuff that didn't uh, didn't mind us, you know, sacrificing these things, then I'd be more incentivized to keep. But instead we have like Gurmy, which is a ways off, Sledder, which basically does nothing, two Molten Reigns, two Sacrifice things, it's just like two, two all over the place, which I guess is kind of what this deck is also. Uh, Mountain, kind of want to keep that. Yeah, we'll keep that. Then we can play turn two Wellspring, turn three Molten Rain, turn four Sh Matron for Crock Clan Shaman. So this hand has a lot of stuff going on too. Opponent is blue and red, a Kiln Fiend strategy. Edicts will be good here as well. Crumbling Vestige. Not sure about that one. Not sure how good that one is. Uh oh. Getting this party started. Delverino. Ah, the, the natural draw on the Corkland Shaman. Unfortunately, we need a little something else. A little something else. Need another artifact. So, they jammed a salt strobe and didn't have a blue cantrip. I think we're safe to take out the mountain. And if they flip their Delver, then that means they're not making a land drop, so that's fine. Could flip revealing a probe, I guess. What'd they get? Ponder? Ugh. Ugh. Get a Mountain Assault Strobe, kill me. Be a beat. A firm beatdown. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's game. Rats. Oof, Gurmy, so big. Terminate, Edict. Yeah, Power Blast seems legit. Uh, Shaman and Electricery, not so great. I uh, definitely like all the bolts. Could Molten Rain them, don't think I want to. I'll certainly keep the cracks, because they're cheap and good. And their deck probably operates on a pretty low land count. Uh, Sparksmith seems good. Probably don't need both of these Raiders. Bushwhacker seems fine to turn the corner. Might not need it though, because I think this is another one of those matchups where you just kill all their stuff. Then you don't really need the Bushwhacker, but could certainly be wrong there. Yeah, we'll cut the Bushwhacker. Whatever. Whatever. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. All right, turn two crack. Loving it. I think I should just fetch. I do have a lot of red cards though. So I'm basically fine with whatever they sack. They sack a land, I play a removal for Delver. We just went off with another crack. They found a Ponder. Gotta imagine they have a land, yep. And they're casting their Ponder, all right. So we can just run back the crack. 
Or we could potentially just like Pyro the Delver, play Star, set up for next turn, but we can't crack and bolt. Tough one. Draw land, things are different. All right, we did not. Draw land off the star, I guess. Terrarian. At least we have another spell we can cast. More land. Yep. I think I prefer to just save the bolt. The only issue is Nivix Cyclops. Is rebirth gonna resolve? Gate, jeez, jeez. Let's do it again. Ooh, Warren weirding. That is nice. That is a nice one. Now I'm even covered against Cyclops. Slip through space my goblin token. All right. Slip through space is real good in that deck. Jeez. Jeez. Ponder instead of a kiln fiend. All right. Doubt my opponent has any way to clean up my little little gob gobberinos, but I don't know, this could be bad. Maybe overextend a little bit too much. Matron for Bushwhacker would actually just put it away, but we took out our Bushwhacker. Hmm. Perhaps that was a mistake. Matron for Slutter might be enough though. Great Furnace. Could Edict away a War Marshal. Should get like three goblins for the price of one in an Edict, but I'd rather just keep the creature removal. Whoa. It is getting late. Now I'm kind of tired of playing this deck. It has not served me all that well, let me tell you. Dispel? Which spell? Probably shouldn't even be like trying to kill this Delver because it's just very not threatening. Dispel actually doesn't counter a lot of stuff in my deck either. Counters my Diabolic Edict. Maybe that should just be a Warren Weirding. So we don't get dispelled. Not gonna crack this star, might need it. Just need two turns, baby, that's it, two turns. 
Let's do it. Gush. Woo. Powerful magic card. Uh oh. Uh oh. My opponent forget to play a land? Uh oh. We're in trouble. Hmm. Can't really let my opponent sit. I assume if I let them take their turn, I'm just dead, though. They just need a spell and an assault strobe, and I would die. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this still leaves me short. This is probably a bad attack, I guess. This does make it so I can matron for a uh, sledder and still kill him. Just leaves me a point short. Brute force. Jeez. And then slip through space. What's happening? Am I dead or am I not dead? Gotta imagine if you start your turn and you main phase brute force your Nivix Cyclops and I'm probably dead, but... Man, I cracked him a bunch of times. I have Pyroblast, Lightning Bolt, Warren Weirding. I'm just dying. This isn't great. Apostle's Blessing, okay. So this is pro red and then you can't strobe it anymore. So that's a little awkward. So you need to like bolt me? No! No! <laughs> womp womp. GG's. Oh, we're gonna draw bolt too. Oh well. <laughs>